Good afternoon and welcome to Arkansas Children's Hospital. I'm Rebecca Brockman. Today I'm joined by Dr. Elijah uh, Bolin. And we today we are talking about fetal echo tests. And it's just perfect timing because February is heart month. And as champions for children, we like to start at the very beginning with fetal echoes, uh, fetal echo tests. Uh, so Dr. Bolin, first of all, uh, tell viewers a little bit about yourself. Um, and what you specialize in, and then we're getting then we're going to get into the what, where, why of fetal tests. Yeah, so I'm a pediatric cardiologist, so I specialize in taking care of children and young adults with heart disease, and as well, I take care of children before they're born uh, with heart disease. Um, so uh, that's what I and that's what I do here at Arkansas Children's Hospital. Excellent. And let's just start at the very basics. What is a fetal echo test? So it is a non-invasive test. Uh, it's using ultrasound to look at a baby's heart before they're born, so in the mother's womb. And who needs, people who are watching might have heard of this, but really who needs to get this test? There are a number of indications. Most frequently it is because a mother is diabetic uh, or there's a family history of congenital heart disease. So somebody else in the family was born with a heart problem. Uh, sometimes there are certain medications that put a baby at risk of having a heart problem. Um, those, are, those are the main indications and usually the obstetrician will know, uh, a woman's obstetrician will know when that, the fetal echo is indicated. Okay, so following up to that, when would a te this type of test take place? We can start doing it around 18 weeks. Uh, the pictures are usually better at around 20 weeks of gestation. Uh, so somewhere in the second trimester, mid to late second trimester, and then all the way through the third trimester is when we can do it. Okay. And we were talking ahead of filming, um, do moms need to necessarily come to Arkansas Children's to have this test done? Yeah, great question. So we do uh, over a thousand fetal echocardiograms every year, uh, but about a hundred of those we do over telemedicine, and we have a statewide telemedicine fetal echo program. And it's actually unique to the country. There's no other state that uh, is doing that to, best of my, to the best of my knowledge. Um, so mothers who live further away from uh, Little Rock can contact us and see if there is a site closer to them. And we really do have sites all spread around the state for women to go to. Excellent. If you're just now joining us, we are live at Arkansas Children's. We are talking uh, with Dr. Elijah Bolin about fetal echocardiograms and why it's important for moms to get them. Um, what are you looking for during this test? So we're looking at the structure and the function of the baby's heart. Um, and we're making sure that there aren't holes where there shouldn't be holes. We're making sure that all the blood vessels are in the right places. Um, and then we're looking also at how the heart's squeezing and if it's an appropriate rhythm, so if the, the rhythm is correct, if there's an arrhythmia or dysrhythmia. Um, uh, and the reason that we do that is in order to help families plan for what to do after that baby's born. And that was my next question. So if you do see something, and I'm sure it's different case by case, mm -hmm. but how do you help a family prepare? Yeah. So, so the, the fetal circulation, the way that blood goes around in a baby's heart is, is usually very stable. So babies with heart disease usually don't know that they've got heart disease. They're, they're, they're not sick from it. It's only after they're born that problems can happen for the most part. Um, and so what we do with families who have, children, who have a baby, who have a fetus with a particularly bad diagnosis, severe form of congenital heart disease, is we come up with a plan for them uh, to do, to, for us to know exactly what to do with their baby right when they're born. And usually that involves being delivered here in Little Rock and, uh, and immediate access to care here at Arkansas Children's Hospital. Excellent, and that must be so reassuring for the families that they know that there's a plan in place. Yeah, and in fact there's, yeah, in fact there's evidence out there to show that stress levels are decreased when parents know about the, the plan for their child. Um, and so that's what we try to provide. Excellent. Can you ta uh, share a little bit more about the Fetal Heart Center here at Arkansas Children's and some of our other services? Yeah, so uh, again, we, we have uh, five cardiologists um, that do actual fetal echocardiograms. We have a total of 20 cardiologists, plus or minus, here in our, in, at Arkansas Children's. We're the only pediatric cardiologists in the entire state, and we're the only cardiologists to do fetal echocardiograms. Um, 
and, and as I said, we, we cover the entire state. And we have, we don't just do medicine here in Little Rock. We do medicine all over the state in regional clinics um, and then the telemedicine clinics, as I mentioned as well. Excellent. Um, very helpful information, especially for uh, maybe some new moms out there. If you're watching, if you have some pregnant friends, um, definitely share this Facebook Live with them. Uh, February is Heart Month, so we will be focusing uh, our messages throughout the month of February and beyond on how we champion children here at Arkansas Children's. Um, so, Dr. Bolin, thank you for your time. Thank if you. you. If you have any questions for Dr. Bolin or about our Heart Center, please leave them below and we'll make sure to get them answered. And we appreciate you watching.